Now I'm on this side. Okay, so I'm over here now. Actually, you know what? Let's actually examine stuff. Okay. There's a step ladder and wheelbarrow blocking the pathway. We can't get through. This is just a fire door. It doesn't lead anywhere. Then why do they have that there in the first place? St. Renata College. What if I don't want to go there? Bergen Street! To Bergen Street, to Bergen Street, to Bergen Street, I go. To Bergen Street, to Bergen Street, to Bergen Street, I'm here. Wait, what? A fire exit door? I am really hoping. Because my, my instincts are telling me to go check out that door. My instincts are telling me to go see if I can go check out that door. My gut, on the other hand, is telling me that this is a death trap. I get out on the tracks, and then as soon as I go check it out, instant death. That's all I am thinking. I'm just I'm gonna look around more that's why I don't trust it if not I'll come back there's I'm just I, I do not trust it it is probably going to lead to my death I'm just gonna go look somewhere else real quick I just unlocked new areas I it is telling my instincts are telling me that that's the new that's the place I'm supposed to go but my gut is telling me that if I go there, I'm either going to die or I'm going to be missing some stuff that there are other things that I can go look out for. So I'm going to go check out whatever's down here first. Okay. Okay, it's a fixed camera angle. I can't change the angle to look anywhere else around here. Which tells me that this was a bust. All that was down here was just a dog that was here to attack me. Pfft, that's what I thought. Why? You is bitch. You is biatch. You tricky. Hmm. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Where the hell did that come from? How long has that been there? Oh. Shotgun. It's a gift wrap birth box. Could it be a birthday present? No, I guess not. Nobody I know would give me something this gross. But I'll take it anyway. It should come in handy against the monsters. to try to figure out what the deal is with this thing. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the hell away. Bye-bye. Right, can I? I'm just going to go run to that red door now. God. Get, get in the get in the train. Get in the train. God damn it. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there now. I'm sorry for calling you that. I'm sorry for calling you the B word because I thought I was not going to make it in time. I thought I, I, I seen play and I thought I didn't make it in time. Just get in. think was going to happen. I don't have a map of this area. I'm going to say this right now. I, I love hate it. What they did was evil. They made me panic so fucking bad. He's like, oh, I have to go check this red door. Then, um, nope, sorry, door's locked. And then all of a sudden, what, two, three dogs just a appeared out of nowhere? And then I hear the freaking train? Oh, my. Okay, you know what? As much as I hated that, that was good. That was legitimately intense. I, I gotta give credit for that. That was good. There's a newspaper on the floor. It's nothing but garbage. Some boring old, same boring old, oh. That symbol's drawn on the floor. Hope I don't get cursed just by stepping on it. And now we are in the train. Oh boy. Thank <laughs> you. 
stay down. Well, there's no reason for me to run, so I may as well equip the heavier armor. I mean, I'm on a train. There's not really much I can do here. Ooh, I don't like this lighting. Holy shit, that's a big one. I hate how that was a big one. Stay down. Okay. So they come in multiple sizes. Noted. Round three. Never mind. An empty juice can. Just another piece of trash. Nothing but garbage. Ooh. First aid kit. Shotgun shells. What is that? Oh, it's one of the supports from the top. The uh, the things that you hold whenever you're on one of these moving trains. This is definitely smaller than the trains that I was been in whenever I was in Italy. Felt like there was significantly more room in those. Okay. Yeah, the further in I go, the worse it gets. Shotgun time? Shotgun time. Now stay down. I'm kicking you in the... Uh-oh. Stay down. Okay, so yeah, shotgun packs a punch. I would have been wasting all my ammunition on the one that I saw earlier. Okay, so now I have to actually piece together what the deal is with these big baby looking little, these big, bulky, massing sort of creatures, like what, they, what their deal is. They're... I was gonna say that they're like muscle builders, but the more I think about it, if I think about it from a more psychological, deep perspective, they're kind of shaped like babies. The way that they waddle, their limbs are bigger than their hands, their bodies are kind of pudgier than their head, they got that little baby fat and all that. Which makes me wonder if there's any sort of deep-seated trauma concerning babies. But then again, if we combine it with stuff that we've already witnessed, there was like some potentially some sort of like childhood trauma that's coming from a large amount of these details. The weird face looking thing, the twin headed dog, and now this weird baby looking thing. Hmm. 
Maybe she wasn't so much traumatized by other babies, but maybe there was something deep-seated, like one of those primal or ancient memories that we have. Kind of like how my earliest memory I know for a fact was uh, me crawling on the floor of my very first house that I used to live in, my trail, uh, the, whenever I was a baby. And I specifically remember crawling underneath my crib to receive a, to grab a Thomas the Tank Engine footsie thing. And that is my most earliest memory of whenever I was a toddler slash baby crawling on the floor. That is the earliest memory I have, and I still remember it vividly to this day. Down to even what the carpet looked like. Which was a gray carpet. Just for those curious. Now where are we? Oh. The old that old pattern's painted in here among the graffiti. It looks like it was just put here too. But by whom? And why does my head Okay, the more I'm thinking about this, maybe she was like... Hmm. I'm starting to get like this sort of feeling like maybe there was some sort of... Well, if there's some crazy religious shit that like Henry... Like whenever Henry had to deal with that shit in like Silent Hill 1 with that crazy ass cult that was going on... I'm wondering if like she might have have... She might have some sort of relation to that. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe that's why I'm seeing shit like babies, like human sacrifice and stuff like that. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting right now. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, I think it's safe for me to go ahead and swap back over to um, unequipping this so I can move faster. Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't remember this being in Italy. Lock is broken. Sudden chase? Okay. Oh, 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 no, ins- uh, uh. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I don't know where the hell I am going. I don't know where I'm going. All I know is I need a map. And then stepped on. And not in the kind of way where people think it's kind of kinky. I don't get it either. But I'm not gonna king shame. And without a map, it makes things hard to move around. It 
Excuse me? <laughs> like a big round pointy hammer. It's super heavy, but at least it's got some oomph. There's a toolbox here, but there's nothing really useful inside. Is that a map? Yes and no. An underpass map. And this sucker is bloodstained, like good grief. Alright, well, at least I got myself a map I can work with. It's better than nothing. What are those? Cease. I said cease. Okay, so now I'm down this hallway. All right, on the positive, I can at least see where I'm going. I got myself a mall. It's a big mall. I can smack things. This requires a gun this time. Can I just say I hate this? I hate... Why can't I pick up that pipe? <sighs> Where is this going to lead me? I'd like to take for the record, I thought I was near the door enough to where I could actually push the door open, but I guess not. Okay. That is broken. Okay, so that leads me nowhere. I think it's going to be safe for me to go and equip this for right now. Okay, that I can work with. Although, just to be safe, I should probably re-equip my armor.
There's a host hoist here. How do I get it to work? This might be the fuel tank. There's nothing in it, though. Ah, great. So I gotta go find some fuel for this. Do I have to go down there? There's a hole full of dirty water. I can't go down there like that. Okay, so that's how I do this. Okay, so I gotta fuel up this tank, and then by fueling it up, it'll get rid of the dirty water down there. Which tells me that there might be a fuel... something inside the room next to this. Let's see. Well, there's ammunition. There's positives on that, at least. It's a fire extinguisher. Don't really need to take that. Well, there's a save spot here, and I'm guessing that must be the fuel tank. Or at least some, uh, sort of fuel source. Only one way to find out. There's some kerosene left in the heater, looks like. If I had some sort of container, I could take it with me. Ah, oh, okay. So I gotta find a container. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I gotta go find myself a container, okay. Only one place left to look, and it's down that way. Although there's probably another place I haven't looked yet. I don't want to think about it, because it would require backtracking, but... How much you want to bet this door won't open? Hey, it opened! I literally just took this off. I gotta find a container. There's no container in here. Why am I left in this room? Dear God, somebody tell me. Ow, bitch! No, seriously, why was I brought in here? There's literally nothing in here. I... I... That always seems to be like one negative that I kind of take away from Silent Hill is it feels like there's a lot of empty rooms of nothing. Hmm. I, I don't know. Hmm. All I can do now is just kind of go back. There's probably something that I missed. So I know the good news is I... Not really good news. So I know I'm on the lookout for a container of some sort. Gotta find a container and then... I think there's like one room that I haven't looked through yet. Can I even get over there though? I'm gonna go find out.
Let's see if I'm allowed to. going to pretend I didn't hear that. I'm just going to pretend I didn't hear that. If I could be perfectly honest, it's probably for the best that I pretended I didn't hear whatever the hell that lady's noise was. It's probably best that I just don't even think about it. It's probably best that I don't think about it because if I do start thinking about it, I'm going to start panicking. And if I start panicking, I'm going to start fast talking. And if I start fast talking, people... Wheelbarrow. Please tell me there's something of value here. Health drink, health drink, jerky. Why in a place like this? Well, I suppose it is dark and dry. Only one of the bottles is empty. I got a wine bottle. Oh. Oh, okay. So, this is it. This bottle was dropped at a corner of the underground passage. This bottle is the only one that's empty, so... I can use this to fuel the kerosene. I'm gonna check the other room first. Bow, oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, sure, yeah, just dead end, that works. Are you upset because I killed your mom? I'd like to state for the record, just so there's no misunderstanding. I enjoyed killing her. Oh God. Duh. Ah. No, this is this is my punishment. This is my punishment. I'm sorry. Not. Ah, oh, thank you for the health drinks. Wait a minute, a thought just occurred to me. Why is it that beef jerky works on some of the monsters? There's gotta be a significant reason as to why that's the case. Hmm. That makes me think that maybe the beef jerky was used as a bargaining tool for some reason. I put kerosene in the wine bottle. I got an oil-filled bottle. That's what I'm thinking. Like, maybe that's part of the reason. Like, maybe... Maybe jerky was... I, I am starting to realize I'm trying to apply lore logic to fucking beef jerky. Also, the hearing of the the buzz saw. Why is there a... You know what? Never mind. Doesn't matter. Might be the fuel tank. I put kerosene all right. It should work now. Looks like a hoist and on off switch. Throw the switch! Okay. Thanks to that thing, all the water's finally drained out of the hole. Looks like I'll be able to get down there now. If I can stand the smell, that is. Oh, boy. Okay. Ooh, 
Ooh, me no likey this. Ooh, me no likey this in the slightest. Okay. Ah! No, I hate the noise. Oh, God, I hate the noise. I hate the noise. This must be where the water gets drained out. Silent Hill, proving once again you don't necessarily need music to really instill fear. All you need is good atmosphere. Okay, I can already tell there's enemies nearby. Oh no, that's just the water flowing. Never mind. Not gonna lie, walking across that bridge made me think that there was gonna be like some sort of water creature that was gonna leap up and gobble me up, nibble on my giblets. Not that way. Hey, whoever you are, could you not, please? I'm having a bit of a moment. Okay. Please be leaving me somewhere good. Jump scared in three, two, one. Was that a body down there? Don't don't think about it. Don't think about it. Ampule. Nothing that looks useful in the cardboard box. There's a deodorant inside, but it would probably be a waste of energy. It's wasting my time looking around here. I better get going. Even so, it really stinks. It's going straight through my from my nose to my head. Now that's a lot of garbage. What the hell did it all come from? I guess this is all the stuff that gets tossed out into the sewers. I've always wondered how sewers take care of their stuff. Even though I never want to go anywhere near it. I got a dryer. Okay, but why? I found it in the gar sort of garbage dump. Still looks usable though. Why did I feel the need to grab an air dryer? A hair dryer. A dryer. Why? Heather, I have questions that need answers. Okay, big one it is. Never mind, slow weapons are not the choice here, but I can use a shotgun blast. Because I've got a shotgun, and I ain't afraid to use it. Well, I guess I kind of am afraid to use it because I don't want to waste all my ammunition, but... All right, all right, fine, I'll use the other weapons, goddamn. Bitches. 
Is this because I killed your mom? Understandably. Cease your bullshit. You will join your mother shortly. I'm becoming a monster. The more I play this, the more of a monster I become because I'm just murdering these creatures whose significance I don't entirely grasp. Okay, I'm over here now. There are documents on the floor. They don't look like they've been anything to do with me. But they've got today's date on them. That's weird. Why is that weird? Oh, is it because they have today's date? Where the timing doesn't seem right? Where everything looks so abandoned that it feels wrong for them to have the date today? I don't know. But what I do know is that that is going to be the end of this recording session. I don't know if I'll be able to make two videos out of this or not, but we'll see. Okay, killed our first boss. I'm still confused, but I'm trying to piece things together as well as I can with the knowledge that I have about how Silent Hill works. Uh, Prelude can probably correct me, or, well, actually, don't spoil, I don't, I do not want spoilers, but we'll see how this goes. But anyway, guys, if y'all like this, be sure to let me know. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see all of you next time.